Can you do a Dust the Kid um, um, expression? Expression. <laughs> Full of symmetry. <laughs> Next question? Uh, you pick, please. No, it, it, it's your panel. Oh, okay, 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 let's see. How about, yes, Urza? Oh, sorry, I just saw the red hair and I thought you were Urza. I didn't see the rest of you, sorry. Do you remember what character you played in World of Warcraft? The, the panda that teaches you how, how to fight for the first ten levels? Oh. That's me. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you for playing. Uh, yes, sir. I know you had a question, uh-huh. You know how uh, Vic does openings in English? I was wondering if you're gonna, ever going to do an English opening. For any oh, 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 for a song? Yeah. For, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Like, um, uh, well, thank you so much. I, I would love to do an opening for a show. Um, I have guessed, like, there are bands that, that tour cons that have asked me, that have asked me to uh, do guest vocals on their songs and stuff, and I do that. Um, for me, it, it's like a different different being for me that I, that I kind of have to um, get into our, uh, our convention synchronization. And so I have to, I have to, uh, I would like to do that. They just got to give me a call. And my phone number is 1-800-DO-THE-SONG. Let's see. Um, next question. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, a little, little homestuck. Oh my goodness. Hi. Um, could you do um, a Sergeant Frog voice for me? Oh, I'd love to do Sergeant Frog. It's one of those shows that I wish we would have finished because there's 382 episodes and that could get me a lot of goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do oh Soga. What a what it. Oh, Lucy. Happy you. I was wondering if you could do a love confession to Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, I wonder if you have a minute before we go on the next mission. I have to tell you something that's about the world of love. I don't want it to get weird. But I love Plue. So, let's go. Let's see, next question. Uh, yeah, Flash. Can you do a Nagasumi impression? Nagasumi. So Nagasumi is just 26 episodes multiplied by... <laughs> Shorter or longer, but yeah. Let's see, uh, next question. Yes, um, don't tell me. Hold on. Gosh, target. Don't tell me. Tell me. Maka? Yes, Maka! Maka! Yes. Oh. God dang it, I'm trying. Yes. Would you ever cosplay one of the characters you voiced? When we announced Ling from Full Metal, I cosplayed as Ling. That was fun. And uh, I also cosplayed as Alan Walker, which was a lot of fun. I was uh, Superman, uh, speaking of which, right before the movie came out at Otakon. And then the very next day, actually, I was Batman. But here's what I did for Batman. I didn't tell the group panel that I was going to be Batman, but I was supposed to be on that panel, so what I did was I got ready, and then there was a huge line about the size of this out there. And so what I did was I waited in line, <laughs> and then I was talking to some of the fans, and I went in there, and I, and I found my seat, and then I sat down, and then I'm looking up at the panel table, and I could see them going like this. And so they're like, they're freaking out. And they con they're continuing to text me. They're like, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And I'm not answering. And so they're like, we just got to start the panel. So then they start the panel, and then they have a mic set up. They don't have a cool runner, but they had a mic set up. And so I got in line, and then I came up and I asked my question. And I was like, <coughs> I was wondering, <laughs> if you were going to go to Otakon, what would you do? And I'd ask questions, little simple questions, and they would answer them, and I'd go sit back down. Oh my God. And then I'd get them. Each question I would ask was a little more intrusive, a little more... And then finally I said, I was wondering if I could sit on stage with you. <laughs> because it's my birthday. <laughs> and so then, then it's watching their faces, and they're like... 
Uh, and Christina B was on that panel too. And she's like, they don't know what quite to do. And so then I go, but I'd love to come and sit on stage. And then they're like, wait a minute. That's a habicorn. And so then when I got on stage, Kyle happened to have his Bane mask with him. Kyle Hebert. And so that was, that was fun. Anyway.